Hello everybody and welcome to this video and today I will be talking about Python books so Python books that I read that are that I think that I should share with you guys so you can get like read them and learn stuff so yeah let's get right into it so just lay back okay get your co co no, or get your Pepsi or something I don't know <laughs> I'm not sponsored by the way so you don't need to do anything. I'm just going to show you some books. So I marked them down. So there's five books. I read more books than that, but I forgot some of them that I read. So these are very good ones. So by the way, if you don't like any of these, I'm not saying that they're the best, but I read them. And that's why, because I wouldn't recommend something that I didn't read. All right. So the first book is A Bite of Python. Oops. A Bite of Python. Now this one is a, can be found in a PDF or if you want it in the hard, like if you want a hardcover, like in real life, the real book, well, it's going to cost money from Amazon, I think you can buy it, but I read it in PDF, so PDF, and then here it is, so then this is a beginner's Python book, and it's 177 pages, it's a really good book, I really recommend it, and yeah, you should go read it, it took me like one month, I think, I think to, to finish, so yeah, it talks about everything, everything you need to start. So that's the first book, and now the second book is Fluent Python. So this one is really, really um, long. I think it's like 700 pages, if I remember well. So there's a PDF, and drop PDF, I don't know. This one, it's like 700 pages, and it's like, it covers the basic beginner, what you need to know, and a little more, all right? Because it's like 700 pages, it has to cover like a lot of things. Yeah, 751 pages, that's the one I, I read. And it's really good. So yeah, you could read that also. And it talks about like classes. Uh, it talks about a lot of things, okay? <laughs> Just that I forgot it. So yeah, you should go read that also. And um, yeah, it talks about a lot of de decorators also. Decorators, yeah. And, and a lot of other things. So then we have automate the boring stuff. Oh, this one's this one's like a really good one. When I was a, like a beginner, I read that one and it was really good. So automate the boring stuff with Python, and then there's also a PDF of that. Oh, there's a PDF of everything these days. It's crazy. So oh wait, that's not a PDF. I remember, but it you can still it's still free though. But it's not a PDF. So when you come to the automatic automate the boring stuff dot com. There's the chapters, so you can just read it. So in chapter one, introduction, and then it's like a book. It's like a PDF, basically the same thing. And then it's just a website, though. It's part one, chapter one, chapter two, and you just click that in chapter two. And then 18 chapters, so it covers everything, right? If you don't like my series, just go read these books. So, yeah. Now we have this one. This one is actually for intermediaries. It's called Effective Python. It's like effective JavaScript, effective C, but effective Python right now. And then there's the PDF. I actually bought the hardcover too. I don't know why. Wait, get, let me let me get my hardcover. Give me a second. It's right here. Alright, so here's the here's the hardcover. Hardcover. So yeah, I just bought it. I don't know why. It costs like thirty dollars. If you if you want to buy it, right, you can buy it. Really good book, you know. So yeah. Now let's get on to the. Oh wait, did I click on that? Okay, that's so it covers a lot of things for intermediaries. That it's a little more advanced. And uh, this one is to to like make your programming better, better skills, better tips and tricks to like make your code more pretty or more easy to understand, easier to understand, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So. Yeah, if you wanna like, if you're like a good programmer and you're looking forward to making your code prettier or uh, more readable, then you should go check this book out. It's for, it's for you. And then the last book is Python Tricks the Book. So this one actually costs money. I couldn't find any PDF, so it's Python Tricks the Book. And then there's no PDF of that. Wait, is that PDF? No way. I actually bought the book. Okay, I know it's not. This is this is just uh, 
It's not 25 pages. I have the book. It's like 200 pages. So this is just like a, a little... I don't know what's the name. Like When they show you a little bit of the of the book already. So the Python Tricks, the book, it costs like $25 I bought it for. You could, you could go buy it. It's for beginners, and it tells you a lot of tricks about Python. So yeah, this is... This is the video, the five books you should buy or that you should read because some of them you don't even need to buy anything. So yeah, like, subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.